Well, hello everyone and welcome to Hogarth's Global Astrology. Know your planets, know yourself or know your nation, know yourself. The two are interchangeable. All right. <clears throat> so what do I want to talk about in today's uh, show? What do I want to talk about in today's show? Now, as you know, uh, obviously you will see many of the readers, etc. and stuff like that. Many of the readers are obviously... Uh, talking about their predictions, etc. you know, some revising things, etc. whatever. Anyway, the point is, <clears throat> I have just looked back at an old video that I did, an old video that I did. Now, I did this uh, video uh, ages ago. I did this video in on the 6th of November, 2023 yeah so i want you to remember that 6th of november 2023 today's date is the 22nd of july 2024 yeah so everything uh november december january february march april may june july so i did this prediction eight months ago yeah eight months ago and you'll see i'm going to play a little uh some little clips from it from what i can find i've had to um I need to make some notes and all of this kind of stuff. Now, what you will see is when I share my screen uh, with you, and when I show you, what, I'm going to go to my YouTube tab where I'm looking through my old videos, and you will see this video is currently set to unlisted, which means it's not public. I didn't release it to the public. You'll see it's only got one view. That view was me, basically. Now, the reason why I did that was because I knew that the prediction that I was making, particularly at that time, would be highly controversial, highly controversial. And as 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 you guys know, now I want to say a big thank you as well to those who respect my work, who are kind and uh, appreciate what is <clears throat> that I'm trying to do and why I've created my channel. It wasn't just to make money or whatever, it's to share this knowledge, this science yeah it is a science vedic astrology is an ancient astrology is a science in general but vedic astrology really is a science because it actually takes procession of the equinoxes into account so it deals with that accuracy as you've heard me mention ad nauseum and as you know i've also you know i mean look the vast majority of people are nice but I, I just have to I just have to put it out there. Some people have been very nasty to me, very nasty. Yeah. Because I've said truthful things. I've said truthful things, which I think has challenged a lot of people. Yeah. Challenged their assumptions, etc. And stuff like that. And of course, there's been a tremendous amount of sensitivity when it when it comes to Joe Biden, understandably. Yeah. And everything then. So anyway, I made this prediction these predictions months ago and i didn't publish the video because i knew i was like this is going to be a bit too controversial at the time but i know this stuff is probably going to come true almost certainly going to come true i will release the video when the shoes have dropped now in this video i made predictions about biden and trump now the things i predicted about trump largely came came uh, came true in fact in fact they did come true but what 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 wasn't clear at that time because you gotta remember this was eight months ago was how much exactly how much he'll be helped yeah how much he would be helped by uh, obviously people in the new judiciary etc and stuff like that which i allude to which is the energy i could see but that wasn't the explicit focus of, of the reading i was talking about k2 you know basically giving him huge amounts of losses and debts etc and all that kind of stuff which it did and then of course he got helped out didn't he remember the appeals court reduced that fine i think that fine is still lingering there somewhere but of course so much has transpired since one of the things I forgot to say in the video when I talk about Trump's second house and his seventh house is that they're both marker houses, which means death inflicting. But anyway, I've got I've got some of the some of the clips and stuff. What I found astonishing, even for me, what I found because I forgot the level of detail that I went into because this video I did it I did it last year, eight months ago. I've done 
I've done hundreds of videos, you know, since then. It must be at least a, it must be at least a hundred videos that I would have what I would have done since then, or close to. And looking back at this video, I'm like, oh my god. And the tarot reading, oh my goodness. It, basically everything I, I said for Biden and the challenges he would be facing is basically, it, it, it all came true. It all came true. So what I'm going to do is, so because obviously we're, we, you know, everyone's, we're talking about what the, you know, the political earthquake, which is what Biden has decided to step down out of the race. And of course, everyone is reacting. Everyone's saying, well, you know, I predict this, this than the other. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not ever going to mention. I'm just going to focus on my own turf. Yeah, we've we've seen what the what many many people have been predicting, and there were many who said that Biden would win. Yeah, him specifically. And um, you know, for me, eh. mm. anyway, when you see the predictions uh, that I made, you're going to be like, oh my goodness. And even I had forgotten how much detail there were in there, but that was that was in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play you some of those clips. The video I'm probably going to release maybe like a couple of days from now, maybe on Wednesday. Yeah, so it gives people time just to watch this where you're going to see me just select bits out because I've already gone through. And when the when I do publish the video, it's going to have time stamps on there, so people can just go to the bits that they're that they're most that they're most uh, interested in, or they can just watch the whole thing like 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 a, like a normal uh, show. And in this in this show, I talk about the nodes of the moon about to change. Yeah, so the nodes of the moon changed on the 29th of November, 2023. Yeah, so I made this video on the 6th of November in anticipation of the changes and in it I go to make my predictions of what will happen not only in 2023 what was left of it but what is likely to come up in 2024 and I made the predictions about Biden and, and about Trump uh and like I said the one for Trump was largely accurate but of course the interventions how much you know Eileen Cannon all that stuff would interfere wasn't that clear at that time although I did I was although I did talk about that I even in the video said that Trump might try and fake his own death. Yeah. But what, when I look back at my reading now, I was just like, oh, my God, you know, the 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 assassination temp, uh, temp was, was clearly there. But you've got to remember, this is like this is eight months ago, guys. This is, is you know, is the best part, best part of, of a year ago. And no one was talking about this stuff at at that time. Yeah, not even not even not even a month ago, really, was it was anyone uh, talking about this? Obviously, I talked about Algol, etc. And a lot of the, you know, astrologers have been talking about Algol because obviously we look at the stars, the Western astrologers as well, the Vedic astrologers, you know, and I, I think, you know, I think the astrologers do deserve a bit of credit, actually, for because a, a lot of us have been talking about these energies. Of course, it varies. The predictions vary from person to person. So before I get into those clips, one of the things I think I'm going to do for my next video. Now, I was just on with Laura Chandler. So uh, I did did a show with her. So and she was asking about my book and, you know, predictions and what's coming up, etc., etc. for Kamala. Uh, Trump, you know, Biden, etc. So we go into a bit of detail on that. That is probably going to be available to watch next week. So even though I did it today, and again, which is the 22nd of July 2024, just before I'm filming this, you won't see that video maybe until next week. Yeah. This video that you're going to be seeing are the samples where I do the samples from a, a video, a predicting, a predicting video I did back in November 6th, 2023. So you're going to see little highlights of it. But that video itself, I will probably publish on uh, the Wednesday, this Wednesday coming, which is going to be uh, like the 24th, yeah, the 24th of May, there or thereabouts, yeah? So I just I just wanted to mention that. So what I'm going to do uh, and and just just to close, what I think my next deep dive is. Oh, 
in fact i'll keep it under my hat for now i'll keep it under my hat for now because i remember um someone telling me um someone who respects my work and uh my channel and stuff said that you know quite a few people have actually been copying my content over the years I i'm just going to leave it there it wasn't my words brought to my attention but I'm going to keep it under wraps what my next uh, deep dive is, is is going to be but it won't take too much imagination to work it out and then i'm going to do it and then let's see what 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 transpires so without further ado let me just share the uh the clip i'm going to share do present and then i'm going to jump through i'm going to look through my notes because i've got a lot of timings of like the timestamps that i need to create and just the things i want to share with you um so let's do what's going on here there we go so i'm going to click on that and i'm going to click share all right so here you can see sort of like the back end of my youtube channel yeah back end of my youtube channel so you can see my last video that i did on biden and trump deep dive you see that was june 29th 2024 yeah and you can see the views over here now if you look here this is the video that i didn't publish now you can see here look this ain't no because i know what some people are like some people are very uncharitable they'd be like oh it's fake no you can see this is me and you can see i even look different because look i've got my mario brothers mustache on because um november uh, in the uk we have something called movember which is where some men grow their moustache in support for men that are suffering from testicular cancer. So because this was, and if you look here, you see November 6th, 2023, yeah, uploaded but not published. You see it's unlisted, monetization off. Look at the views, one view, c'est moi, yeah, just one view there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into it, and then I'm going to click through the various bits so you can hear my predictions of that time. And then we'll talk about that afterwards. And I'll probably call it a day because I'm so, I'm so busy. There's so many, so many things and stuff that I still need to do. So here we are. So I put here Biden and Trump outlook 2024. And I think it was plus moon nodes and Saturn. <laughs> Pardon me. Let's go there. And let's get into this. So as you can see here, oh god, look at look at that look at that screenshot has left me there. You can see I'm even a different colour because obviously I'm fair fairer skinned in in the winter. So there it is, you can see there's the link and all that kind of stuff. It doesn't have all the full my full usual links because of course it, it wasn't published to, to to the public. You can see unlisted, yeah, and all of that kind of stuff. So where I'm gonna go to first is i think it's eight minutes 30 where i talk about biden trump biden and saturn so let's go here let's go to eight minutes 30. let's go to eight minutes eight minutes let's do eight minutes 24. and in fact let's make this larger and then you can you can hear what i had to say scandals and the swearing and all of this stuff and the other and that theme will continue through 2024 going into 2025 but of course i'm going to look at how the nodes of the moon are potentially going to affect both men uh biden and trump and i'll also look at saturn as well saturn is in sidereal aquarius sidereal aquarius and he entered on the 17th of january 2023 this year and do you remember me saying i said there'll be lots of accountability lots of stuff going on i said even for duck Lorange, particularly in october when his went into his jupiter k2 dasher snip snip and i said that's when the wheels start coming off look at what is going on with him right now like i said it will take either a miracle or a huge act of evil for him to become president again and let's just hope neither happen yeah <laughs> right did you hear that i said let's hope neither happen i said it could be a miracle or a huge act of evil as you know they made an, uh, uh, someone made an attempt on Duck LaRange's life, yeah, which has already been a bit of a game changer. Let's hope that it doesn't, you know, let's hope that that part of the prediction doesn't come true. Yeah, let, let, let's just hope at that. So 
I wanted just to show you that clip so you can see I'm on record, even though it wasn't public because it was too controversial at, at the time and it would just been too much for people. Now that reality, you know, certain realities are, are falling in, you know, uh, you know, now I feel more uh, able to share it so that I don't get attacked so much. Yeah, it's really, it's really, it's really not nice. It's really not nice. But anyway, I, I don't want to drag on about that. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, what's this? And then let's see here. I've got something here at nine minutes, but I can't let's just see. Oh, no, I think that's what I was talking about. Nine minutes. One second. What else is went into his Jupiter K2 Dasher, snip, snip. And I said, that's when the wheels start coming off. Look at what is going on with him right now. Like I said, it will take either a miracle or a huge act of evil for him to become president again. And let's just hope neither happen. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Nine. Anyway. So let's look. Yeah. Let's look to see how this could be potentially affecting both men. Let's start with Joe Biden. Ah, OK. There we are. So I said, let's start with Joe Biden. Now, the clip that I'm going to go to, so that will be time stamped, probably at 9 minutes 15. And then here I discuss at 80 minutes or so, I discuss Biden's age. This is what I said at the time. So if we go here to 18 minutes, do 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 18 minutes, let's go to 80. And it was probably start a little bit after this. So, you know, these things do tend to be a bit approximate. Oh, oh. Let's go out there. See what I said. Represent what ice and ice can be like an iceberg. So let's not forget there is a real stubborn streak as well to the energy of Scorpio as well that resists change. Well, actually, life for Krishna and have to go through all these trials. So here I'm talking about uh, Biden's ascendant because he's a triple Scorpio uh, in Vedic astrology. I think in Western as well, but he's a uh, I'm not sure if he's triple in Western, but he's a triple Scorpio ascendant, sun and Venus in Scorpio for Biden. Yeah. Miles and tribulations through the cycles of hell to come out the other side. So this is about dedication, love, devotion. But sometimes the person might be too devoted to ideas or things. Let's not forget Scorpio is fixed water. Fixed. And fixed water can represent what ice and ice can be like an iceberg. So let's not forget there is a real stubborn streak as well to the energy of Scorpio as well that resists change that resist change. There are murmurings obviously going around, not only, of course, in the GOP, you know, Republicans are obviously always pointing out um, Joe Biden's age, but Democrats are talking about it as well, as we all know. And let's give each other breathing space to actually get some of this stuff off of our chest and actually just discuss some of the realities of what is going on, because it's looking like it's a problem. Like for me, look, I don't, look, Nancy Pelosi, Nancy Pelosi. I mean, she's she's probably one of the most mature out of all of them. She can run circles around everyone. Bright, sharp, you know, she's got the mind of, you know, a 50 year old. You know, if that is, it's, you know, she's really up and running and stuff like that. And it's not that it's not that Biden isn't. It's just the perception. The perception is different. What I'll add there as well now. <clears throat> Uh, now, of course, eight months later, in regard to what's happened with uh, Nancy Pelosi, it's got, we've, got, we've got to take into effect the progression of time. You know, a lot of people were very unhappy, of course, with Pelosi because Pelosi was the one, you know, you could say. Now, I said at the time, Pelosi rang up Biden and said, look, on these numbers, you can't win. And I said at the time, if Nancy Pelosi rings you up and tells you, you you can't ring, like you're done, you're finished, yeah, because she is all over the numbers, all over the stats. I got attacked, of course, for saying that. But look what transpired since, yeah? So just remember as well, when you're seeing this, this is from eight months ago before people were even talking about this stuff. Wait until you see the, the card reading for Biden at the end. Oh, my God. Anyway, I'll carry on a bit. They are perceiving uh, Trump as more cogent, which is kind of ironic, isn't it? Because he can't even remember. 
which president is running against? Do you remember he said he was he said he was run, he was running up against uh, Obama and this that and the other and he, you know he's obviously got confused about this that and the other, but it may also have been a deliberate ploy as well. I just want to add that that little thing as a little dog whistle. But anyway, let's carry on. It doesn't matter because as Machiavelli said you know, the where we get the name Machiavellian from, who wrote the famous book, The Prince, or Il Principe. He said, politics, he, he said, he says, what is better to be loved or feared? And he said, it's better to be feared, yeah, because people are more, more inclined to respect fear and stuff like that. But the point is, is this, he said, everything in politics is about perception. Imagine that. Now, this guy, this guy was writing in the Middle Ages. I think it was like in the... For, was it the 1400s? I think he was writing in the 1400s. Where is my? Oh, I've got I've got the book, The Prince. But I, I think Machiavelli was born. It was, he was born in 1400 and something and what have you. And again, I don't have the book to hand. But anyway, so I go on uh, because I don't want to have to show you every exhaustive clip because you're going to be able to watch the video, of course, for yourself in a few days. I go on to talk about. Um, uh biden's popularity yeah so this is what i was saying about biden's popularity so let's go to 24 minutes here and and it probably starts just after that let's put it when it there we are let's press play here uh, certain Kuchinska has also helped with the funding of this and stuff like that so the eclipses have been falling in this axis here for Joe Biden. We've seen how difficult those things have been. Also as well, if we look, Saturn here, which you can see is at six degrees, 19 minutes, now direct after being retrograde for almost five months or so and loose change, is now coming back up onto uh, Biden's K2, which is what? Snip, snip. And I've said this before. <sighs> K2 can cut things like popularity. He just, I can see, I can see what is, it's not Biden's fault. And I'm not blaming him, blaming him. I'm just describing the energies, but we just have to use our eyeballs, don't we? Use our eyeballs and look at the reality of what is happening. Saturn is the planet of pressure, separation, pulling things away. Fourth house deals with what? The, the heart chakra, but also deals with the homeland. He's facing what? A lot of critique. Saturn is the planet of critique, uh, critique, and um, uh, K two can do with scrutiny as well. So what he's he's getting not only from the usual on the right, but of course the Democrats as well. You know, murmuring and you know in the liberal media and all of that stuff as well. So he's having a tough time of it right now, and particularly as well if we look here, Saturn is aspecting Trump's moon by his third aspect. So that's putting that increased pressure. So Biden's moon. I, I, it was a mental slip. Uh, Saturn's aspecting Biden's moon. Yeah. When it moved into sidereal Aquarius on the 17th of January 2023, Saturn began aspecting Joe Biden's moon. The moon also deals with the mind. Yeah, deals with the mind, the thought processes, stuff like that. Mercury deals with the thought processes as well, but the moon is associated with the mind. So when I said Trump's moon, I misspoke there. I meant to say Biden. Yeah, it, that's his that's his chart anyway. So he's feeling a tremendous amount of pressure because circumstances are uh, happening at home and abroad, both of which are out of his control. Yeah. So what's going to happen when the nodes move? So as you can so you can see there, I was talking about the pressure and how K2 often deals with losses. So you'll see here, it's a bit fuzzy, but this is Biden's chart and that is K2 snip snip in his fourth house. One, two, three, four. Fourth house deals with homeland, family, real estate. Look at the stuff that's been happening with Hunter Biden as well. But it, it, it is it also, it's also known as the seat of power. The fourth house is known as the seat of power. So, of course, if Saturn goes there, puts pressure on that, that K2 activates and it can deal with cuts, losses, loss of the seat of power. And we see we can see what has transpired. <clears throat> and Saturn, so here you can see here Saturn in sidereal uh, Capricorn because TR means transits. 
So he's actually over there activating that K2, but aspecting the moon. Also as well, aspecting the 10th house, which is the career. Yeah, and Biden's got uh, Chiron in the 10th house, which shows the wounds. Yeah, he's had a lot of woundings and humiliations in, 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 in his career. And then by Saturn's back square, one, two, three, four, he's aspecting Biden's first house, which is the health and the vitality. You know, he also caught COVID as well. I know I've said that in other videos, so I don't want to keep repeating myself. But Snip Snip was activated. So we can see how K2 is acting in Biden's chart and how K2 has been acting in Trump's chart, basically showing up as the assassin, wanting to take him out. And Trump isn't out of the woods yet at all. So... Um, Uh, let's let's see here now now what i think you might find even more profound and then i'll move here is when is that 30 minutes let's see here now i don't let's see here let's get to 30 minutes this i just found uncanny so looking at biden's chart again and i said the energies of what k2 snip snip could potentially do when he goes through his 11th house listen to this all to say it's, it's almost becoming nakedly obvious but i will still say for entertainment purposes only. So K2 is kind of doing a critique. Uh, so in a way, um, Biden is going to have to look at the international contacts, the, the allies. Who are the allies? Who are, who are, who is going to be there and supporting him for his cause? Because at the moment, that support seems to be dwindling away a bit, doesn't it? Because even though technically the nodes of the moon haven't moved, right in yet k2 is right on this line they're on the cusp so they're as you've heard me say before uh, some planets can actually pull the lever pull the lever that's in the next house particularly the gas giants and the nodes of the moon so we're seeing this already where this seems to be this dwindling of support um there could even be issues as well when it comes to senior senior donors and big money and stuff like that there might be some big moves that might happen where some people might throw their weight behind a certain candidate and joe biden might have to woo and wheel and deal he needs to use this rahu in a way isn't that funny i said there could be an issue with the big donors yeah and they might throw their support behind another candidate that's what's happened the donors now, remember, K2, snip, snip, and it has a lot to do with loss of money as well. We've seen how uh, K2 has almost bankrupted Trump, obviously, from his help. He's because he's in the Jupiter Dasher, getting the luck from the judiciary and the Supreme Court and Eileen Cannon and that ilk. But that's because he's in the Jupiter Dasher, so he gets the lucky part. Biden's in, in Saturn Dasher. He started his Saturn Dasha uh, about 18 months ago. It was it, it was in 2022. I can't remember which month it I can't remember which month, but it was in 2022 it began. So uh that and the Saturn Dasha is much harsher. It's a much more difficult Dasha to deal with. So with K2 snip snip going through the 11th house, uh, Biden's 11th house, the 11th house is a house of great gains. It also deals with friends, associates powerful people k2 separated him from that so he felt what the separation from his friends is everyone's been talking about the betrayal particularly as well with the owl gold you remember i said mars uranus and uranus are both on the star owl gold owl gold deals with depositions being removed from power beheadings assassination attempts things like that being shot in the head or losing one's head losing one's mind so in a way, he was sort of like deposed, wasn't he? He lost the support of his friends. K2 went through and went, chip, chip. yeah, like that. So I just wanted to share the, those those particular bits so you could see that there for yourself. What else do I want to share with you? Uh, this one. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's. This one's going to be about Duck Larange. When I talk about his potent, I put here. This is forty-six minutes. When I'm talking about Rahu through his eighth house, and then I'll finish on the readings. Um, I'll finish on the readings. Um, uh, the card readings I did for Biden and Trump. No, some of you um, have said to me. You shared with me. 
that some uh, some astrologers, some Vedic astrologers, are saying that Trump could mir miraculously become, you know, um, leader and stuff like that. He could, he could again. Never say never, but with these energies, it's like I said, it's really challenging. It will literally take a miracle or a great act of evil for him to become president again. Right. I said a miracle or a great act of evil. You see, I repeat myself. That assassination attempt would tick that box. Yeah. Now, obviously, there are a lot of people that don't want to. That don't want to see Trump at Trump at all, but like around at all. But like I said, try not to wish for these things because if he had actually died, it would have been actually far worse, and America would have already been on the path to, towards civil war. You know, I mean, much more strongly. You can imagine how they would all have called out, and they would have said it was Biden who did it. So it's actually a, a, a it was actually good that that he wasn't shot. But that act of evil, look what it's done. It has helped propel him, has helped propel his numbers. But now, of course, Biden has stepped to the side. You know, this is now given Kamala a chance potentially to shine. And we'll have to see. We'll have to see if America is prepared to vote, not only for a woman, but a woman of color. Yeah. But you see how this act of evil has changed up, you know, the game. Or I said even a miracle. Some people are calling it a miracle that he survived. Isn't that interesting? I'll just, I'll just dial. Look, I'll just yeah, play again. He could, he could again. Never say never, but with these energies, it's like I said, it's really job. <laughs> I mean, this this could get really bad. I mean, like I, I don't know when they're going to proclaim how much his losses are, but they could really mount multiply here. Also, as well, he's going to be finding out what's going to be happening with the Georgia case and all that stuff because that thing's happening. What March, April? I know a bit too much. Wasn't it? That some uh, some astrologers, some Vedic astrologers, are saying that Trump could mir miraculously become, you know, um, leader and stuff like that. He could, he could again. Never say never, but with these energies, it's like I said, it's really challenging. It will literally take a miracle or a great act of evil for him to become president again. With this kind of combinations going on, you see me talk ad nauseum about this. That K2 going over these planets when a person is non-spiritual in that classic sense is not good. Not good. That Neptune can grant a fortune, but can easily take one away. Chi I mean, here, Chiron is the wounded healer. And then now, what I forgot to say in this prediction, this is happening here in Trump's second house. So you can see there's that, it's a bit faint, but there's the line showing the first house. He's got Mars in the first house, which all of you who watch my channel know, or any of the astrologers. The second house is over here. The second house is also known as a marker house, which means death inflicting. He's got K2, snip, snip, going through that house for 18 months, starting on the 29th of November, 2023, ending in May or something late May, uh, mid to late May, 2025. So he's actually in a lot of danger. At that same time, Rahu is going through his eighth, the eighth house, which I refer to as the house of sex, death and rock and roll, sudden transformations and stuff like that. That can affect things. Saturn at the moment is going through Trump's seventh house, another marker house, not only marriage and relationships and business, but the house of open enemies. Marker house means death inflicting. So he has Saturn by transit in his seventh house, up until the 29th of March, 2025. So Duck Lorange is actually in a lot of danger. He really is, and we've seen that. But I think as well with this um, Saturn-Venus-Pluto uh, combination in his 12th house, which can deal with endings, hospitals. So he's already been to hospital now, hasn't he? Prisons, the prison part hasn't really happened yet, has it? Can deal with exile, the land of far, far away. But it also deals with hidden enemies. Venus isn't just relationship. Well, she is relationships and she can represent the wife or daughters uh, in, in a person's chart. In a man's chart, you know, heterosexual man's chart, it will be the wife. But for anyone's chart, if they have children, Venus will also be their daughters. So this can talk about Melania. This can also talk about Ivanka. We'll have to see what role they play going forward. However, Venus is the planet of partnerships. This could mean a betrayal via partnership. This could also talk about J.D. Vance. J.D. Vance, yeah? 
who is a plant, obviously, for Peter Thiel and that lot and loose change for entertainment purposes only. Uh, Elon Musk rat is, you know, is giving $45 million uh, per month, he said, while J.D. Vance is there. I think J.D. Vance is the plant, the enemy in the camp. The, you know, also as well, this uh, seventh house, I mean, sorry, 12th house also deals with foreign lands and stuff like that. They've got a, they've got a million, multi-million dollar a ransom prize on on Trump's head as well. That's recently come to light as well. So he's in a tricky phase. I think he goes into his Jupiter Venus stasher on the 29th of September. So we'll have to see. I said Venus could also offer him a, a reprieve and a get out of jail card free. That's already that's already happened as well with the alien cannon thing. Let's see how else it develops. But also as well. Oh, of course. Venus is women, yeah. So this could be the this could be the electorate. This could be Kamala. This could be Kamala. Of course, it kicks in. This energy kicks in from the 29th of September. That's around the time when they're due to be having their their debates. Assuming Kamala is becomes the nominee. Oh my, Dark Laurence in trouble, in trouble. Anyway, I just thought I would share that. What else? Um, let me go to 47 seconds, 50 minutes. So 47 seconds, 50. Let's go here. Oh, bollocks. Sorry. Oops. Oh, no. Ah. Yeah. Let's go there. Ah, that would have to do. That would have to do. That when Dr. Orange has to face the realities of the realities, he may still try and flee the country. But it, he might do it in a shocking way. The eighth house, is it deals with sudden shocks and surprises, loss, endings, death, things like that. Uh, you know, you hear that? Death. Eighth house also deals with like espionage as well, but it also deals with assassination attempts. I forgot to, it was there in plain sight. I just forgot to say, you know, I was in my riff and I was in my flow. So looking back with the benefit of hindsight, what's happened, you could see the danger that was there, that, that's there for Dr. Orange. K2 going through the second house, death inflicting. Saturn going through his seventh house, death inflicting. His Venus is in the twelfth house between uh, natal Saturn and Pluto, god of the underworld. There could be a woman that potentially ends things for him. It's, so it, it could be Melania, Ivanka, but I think this also as well has to be Kamala. Yeah, let's see. You know, he he could even, he could even, this is going to sound outrageous, he could even fake his own death. Honestly, like, if you just think, if you think of his problems, he's got, what is it, 91 or 92 lawsuits. And do you remember I said, I said he I said he's going to become the most litigated man in history. That's really already true, to be honest. Now, I said he could fake his own death. Well, he didn't, he didn't really have to, did he? I mean, it's, it literally it could have happened. And look, I know people saying, oh, blah, 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 it was all planned. If it was planned, which I, I don't think it was, but let me tell you, if it was, Duck Larange didn't know about it. I can tell you that much. Now, if we look here. Now I'm going to go I'm going to go to Biden's card and I'm just going to read you that because then you can watch the rest of this video later. But just watch this. And <sighs> my goodness, my goodness, even I was a bit shook by this prediction. All right. So this is going to be 53 minutes, 40. 53 minutes, 40. That would do. Oh, it didn't move. 53 minutes 40. That would do. All right. Listen to this. Just click this off. We will wind it a little bit more. So I hope you found that interesting, guys. Oh. off i'll just let this play out i'll just let the whole reading play out it's only a few minutes make up your own mind all right, all right joe biden and remember this is november 6th 2023 yeah november 6th 2023 so i made this prediction 
eight months ago before anyone was really talking about this. Anyway, how can you turn this situation around? Let's see what the cards have to say. I'm not even going to guess. We, we know we want to see positive cards, but we'll just have to see what spirit has to say. So let's pick. And of course, I pick with my eyes closed. All right. How can Biden turn this potentially around? There's the polls. I've not been so sweet for him. Let's have a look. Mm, look, stinky fish straight. Oh, dear. Oh, 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 well. Well, look, guys, don't shoot the messenger. As you know, I just read. I read the cards and um, I'm neutral. You know, I, I, well, I like to come more, well, do my best to be in a neutral energy so that I get an accurate read yeah if a person is too invested in the in the cards and the outcome they will skew the cards anyway we all know this anyway look what the situation is all about stinky fish messaging messaging ah oh, the message is not getting through or they don't like what biden what biden is saying or he's trying to communicate and people are just hearing stinky fish yeah or, you know, he's had issues with what? His communication. He's been criticized for his speech because of the blunders. Yeah? Stinky fish. Pages deal with messages. Yeah? It's not coming out right. Yeah? There's been a few clangers. Yeah? You know, he introduced Zelensky, sadly, you know, uh, to, on the whole world stage. Remember the UN thing? He introduced him as President Putin. You know, he, you know, he mistakenly, unfortunately, uh, referred to uh, Vice President Trump. Yeah, he, he didn't mean to say it. He was talking about Kamala. But he, do you see what I mean? Stinky fish in the communication. Anyway, yeah? this is also what pages which also deal with what the youth, the youth in particular are not liking what they're seeing. And apparently on TikTok, they're saying we're not going to vote for him, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, I can only say what I see. There it is. You can see. Yes. And the youth are a big part of the vote and the Muslim community as well. So I said these things at the time, you know, um, you know, but no one wanted to hear it. But now Saturn is going retrograde. Yes, yeah? Saturn is going retrograde. Any time a planet goes retrograde, it means review, revise, reassess. So we're now getting review, revise, reassessment. If what? In politics. Saturn is the planet of government. Dr. Ron just had to rethink things because there was an attempt on his life. He's had to review, revise, reassess. He ended up rewriting his speech and then ended up talking for an hour and a half. I mean, oh, my God. But remember, he's actually got his Mercury in Gemini in the next nakshatra called Ardra, which I call Drama Ardra. And like I said, Trump cannot shut up to save his life. Yeah. Anyway, I continue. See it for yourself. Here in the obstacle position, he's feeling embattled. There we are, the nine of wands. But this is a canny person who shouldn't be underestimated. Biden is going to try and figure out ways to turn around the polls, but it's not going to be easy. It's a fight. Yeah, the situation in the Middle East where those eclipses have fallen, of course, have done a lot of stuff, a lot of damage, I would say. Look here in the middle, we've got the wheel of fortune. It means to a certain greater or lesser extent, things are out of Joe Biden's hands. Events in the world have taken over. It, it, was, all, it was already pretty tricky, but of course the situation now with uh, Israel and Palestine is really dividing, obviously, people and opinion that East versus West. And I have to mention Whimsy here as well. He's been doing some really good work. So what we've got to remember is when this, uh, so this was November 6th, the November 6th, 2023. And of course, the war in, in Gaza and stuff broke out in the October. So it was only, a, 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 what is it, October 10th. So when I was uh, filming this, this was slightly under a month into, into the conflict. But we can also see as well how that world card is talking about how Biden has struggled to control the narrative since then, because it's also looking at his 2024. Anyway, 
at work. I watched a Sunday thing. I don't think I managed to catch all of it on this one, but I'm I'm enjoying uh, some of the insights and work that she is she's been bringing, and she was been talking as well. Yeah, she uh, she came up with some interesting insights at the time. I've not seen that much of the uh, of late, but you know, at that time, I was I was I was looking and wanting to see the Jewish perspective uh, as well on the conflict in Gaza, and it was just quite interesting. It's good to hear lots of different uh, voices. Of course, it's not just me. You've been talking about the polling and stuff like that. We all have to be able to talk about this, guys. You know. Please don't censure us um, readers. We're just trying to be honest with you with the energies and stuff like that. Some people just get really disparaging because they just don't want to hear certain things or just play nasty, which is what I've had. But anyway, but, you know, the, the, the red light needs to be flashing now. Yeah. So here we see there's an element here of wheel of fortune. He has to find a way to try and turn this around. But look, ah. Uh, Ah, oh, I wish the cards were better, but we can see five of pentacles. Look, he's feeling what? Out in the cold. It's like he's being, it's like people trying to shut him out. It's, it's, uh, he's not feeling that, that love and that inclusion because, of course, here inside the people in church, they're nice and warm. So he's probably feeling even a bit, little bit of like an outsider within his own party, or it could be the case of just the, the mood, but not only this as well, even though on paper it said the economy is doing well. Now, isn't that interesting? I said he feels like shut out, out of the cold, even by his own party. Biden said he felt betrayed. Yeah. The star Al Gol deals with betrayal, sudden shocks and surprises, all of this kind of stuff. So imagine I was making this prediction back in November 2023, which was showing that the energy to come. So it's reading what was true uh, for that moment, but also as well what has transpired through 2024. People, the electorate are still feeling poor. They are. I know the numbers are great in terms of like unemployment is down, blah, 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 and inflation, etc. But I, I saw for myself, yes, okay, I was in Puerto Rico, whatever, and, uh, you know, people's an island, you have to import. Even when you take that into account, the prices, we all know this. The second I talked about in that video, everyone in the comments were like, Hoagie, you're right, Hoagie, you're right, you're right. If they, they've, they've gone up at least by a third, and that's being generous since I was there in 2019. So people are what? Feel it in the pocketbook. What do they always say? It's the economy, stupid. Yeah. So if people aren't feeling rich or wealthy. They're going to what? They're going to punish Biden because he has to be the whipping boy. Yeah. Because... Right. So that's something as well. Uh, the Guardian uh, UK newspaper did video uh, reports on how people felt about Biden uh, stepping down, etc. and stuff like that. Some said they were sad, but a lot said they were happy that he went. And what um, came up a lot was the cost of living for people as well. So even though on paper, of course, you know, you know, uh, you know, the economy is doing well, it's like you see how that card was showing is how people feel about stuff, how much food costs, how much gas costs, everything, the everyday things, housing, rents, travel, uh, how much you're paying even for your electronics, your your commodities of, of, of all kinds, yeah? That's what that card was talking about. And so it, it's not enough just to look at the numbers and say this is a really positive story. As the cards were suggesting, a lot of people financially are hurting. A lot of people have had uh, big expenses. A lot of people have had health crises because um, South Node of the Moon, K2, K2, the South Node of the Moon, is in Virgo, health and healing, obstacles, challenges, battles. A lot of people have had huge bills and feel out in the cold because something's gone wrong with their health, which we know this is one of the primary causes for homelessness and debt in the US. And you could see that five of pentacle cards there. Yeah, it was, it's a factor because, you know, it's associated with him. Look, the outcome card, world card. God, I hope I don't get uh, demonetized in the algorithm because you can see the nippleage there. Oops, uh, I should have I should have covered it with sticky tape or something. But whatever. Hopefully, they won't be harsh.
Uh, which deals with what? Endings and beginnings, beginnings and endings. So there's something that's coming to an end, a big cycle in some kind of way. And a big cycle coming to an end. His Candace's candid candidacy for running for president has now ended which does kind of worry me a little bit seeing this card here it's almost like um it's almost like biden might have to really completely reinvent himself reinvent himself try and use that energy of rahu to bring something forth dynamic or something like that or do a little switcheroo move maybe he gets someone in as a substitute you know or just be like oh you know i'm not feeling so well guys let this one run over and you know you know well, that substitute is Kamala Harris, isn't it? Oh my goodness! Well, we see she's not she's not been officially nominated yet. But look, I said substitute, yeah, someone else run, you no, know, etc. and stuff like that. But look, we all know what the world card means. It does deal with grand cycles coming to an end and something new to begin. So, I can only say what I see. I can't sugarcoat it, unfortunately. So. Uh, challenging cards there, let's say, for Biden. This really, the Democrats have to take this seriously, have to take this seriously, because when you combine the cards with the transits, then, you know, not great. Now, let's look at Dr. Ranch. Oh. So I, I will leave it there. I'll leave it for the um, video bit. You guys can uh, look at, let's see, I'll stop the share there. And let's go back. Oh gosh, I hope I'm still there. So I'll leave that. I'll leave that for like the Wednesday or whatever. You guys can look at at my predictions there for for Trump. Uh, I think they were very accurate, especially for what it was happening to him at the time. But what of course has transpired only recently. You remember Uranus has moved since then. When I was doing this reading, Uranus was still in sidereal Aries, yeah, giving all the issues with Ukraine, war, etc., all of that kind of stuff, with the Middle East conflict and stuff like that. Uranus moved on the 1st of June, 2023, in the, uh, into the Earth sign of Taurus, given what the earthquakes, I said, political earthquakes, shock surprises, even physical earthquakes, eruptions, that kind of thing. So you see in that time, Uranus moved and gave those extra shocks, shocks and um, surprises and stuff like that with, with, with the politics. So, of course, Duck Lorange was really up shit creek, shall we say. Uh, at that time, and then with that luck of that Jupiter Dasher, with the judiciary helping him out, but the sudden shocks and political earthquakes and surprises, we saw Aileen Cannon got him off, the, the, the Supreme Court did their funky moves, so you see all the funky stuff that has happened in, in, in that time, but of course I wasn't looking at that particular transit because it wasn't relevant to speak about it at that time, it was still many uh, months away at that point so it was still what um seven months uh away because it only moved in uh june and we're now in july so do you see six seven uh months or what have you so i will leave it there i hope you found that uh interesting i will release uh this video for to the general public like i said around about wednesday then you can see the whole thing but i really did see this stuff in the charts and in the cards i just felt i couldn't be explicit at the time because there is such emotion of course around uh, the events people are obviously worried about democracy ending um you know you've got jd vance and then you've uh, you know uh with all of his stuff and then you know but we've got kamala here as well so you know i'll be looking up you know there's there's things i'm going to be looking at my next deep dive uh, I know what it's going to be, and I'll release that, uh, I don't know, probably next week or, or something like that. And uh, But, yeah, we, we can see, and, and particularly for Biden, oh, my God. Well, Trump as well, but the Biden, just anyway. But I leave it to your judgment. So um, please don't forget as well, of course, to like and subscribe. There are many, many, many of you that watch who don't subscribe. Yeah, so, I mean, because, look, I, like my videos are getting a lot of views and thank you for everyone that's supporting the channel and thank you for all, all those that respect my work and stuff like that you know and, and the vast majority of people are, are nice and they appreciate what is uh that, that i'm doing but it's very interesting because i'm getting a lot of views 
not that many subscribers quite interesting that isn't it so people are i mean people are coming in they're watching the videos you know because youtube shows shows you shows you the stats it's not all about the numbers of course and that's not why i started my channel it was to share this knowledge but one thing i will close uh in saying and maybe this could be how i sign off my videos in the future which is this and it just came to my mind truth is treasured by the few that's what i found truth is treasured by the few and it's very interesting what happens when you challenge people or truths that they believe you know and the way that they react but there you can see there's no doubt there you can see when it, i've proven to you when that prediction was made eight months ago yeah well slightly over eight months ago now back in november 2023 when no one was was talking about what has what has transpired since but you could literally see it there in the cards. And I said, Biden is, is not going to be feeling supported. I said, even the donors may not support him. And that's precisely what happened. They said, we're not giving you another penny. That was it. Imagine that, telling the president that. We're not going to give you another penny. We're not going to give Kamala another penny. Not any one down ticket. And, and then obviously Nancy Pelosi obviously was reading him the riot act, you know, uh, before that anyway. So, so again, 11th house powerful friends uh, or powerful people you know he's obviously felt a bit betrayed and you know backstabbed you could see that world card something coming to an end but something new uh beginning uh as well so you know it was it was all there so definitely you know wish kamala you know like the best absolutely she's coming into a power but it's not going to be easy it'd be better for her to kind of go through if it's just an anointing uh, a crowning be careful with that as well look what happened in the uk yeah we had we've had what three prime ministers well let me think well, there was david cameron who actually won the election i oh, know and then the boris uh boris won but no but then there was theresa may she was crowned boris won and then you had um uh what's the name liz turd or liz trust liz distrust as some people call her she was crowned and rishi sunak was crowned and those two weren't seen as legitimate. So I think a little bit of trial, um, hopefully, I hope um, she she gets the candidacy because she is one of the best people to actually prosecute Trump on his case. She was a prosecutor. She's dealt literally with criminals and stuff like that. But we have to see what transpires. Remember, Uranus is still conjunct that star, uh, Al, Al Gol will go direct and then retrograde. I'll talk a bit more about that in detail in my video on Laura uh, with um, Sacred Stream, which will be coming out a week or so from now. I will leave it there. So please uh, like and subscribe and share. Thank you to everyone for all of the love and, uh, and respect that you've shown. For those that do respect my work, it is much appreciated. I've had a lot of uh, people also supporting me as well and encouraging me to just keep telling the truth keep telling it as I see it. And I'm so glad that I've done that and that I didn't cave in and didn't just go with what was popular. And I understand it. And I don't even want to be too critical of those that maybe just said things that are popular because I can understand why people do it. No one likes being criticized, but the stakes are so high. And I'm so glad that I've just stuck to the guns and I've just said what I saw. And you could see that uh, for yourself there with the astrology and the tarot, which I think was just uncanny, given how long ago that reading actually was. So I will leave it there. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. And um, I'll get this up to you. It's now, oh, it's so, oh God, it's almost midnight. Gee whiz, this will probably come up at 1 a.m. by the time I've uploaded it. But anyway, thanks. And uh, you'll see me soon on Thursday, Fry Up, and there might be another video in between. All right, bye-bye for now. Cheers.